Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Now in today's video we're going to see this new chapter of cost accounting that is called job costing and this is a very simple chapter there is not much to learn in this. So let's start the video let's understand the concept first and then from the following videos we are going to move on to the problems is that okay? Right so let's start the video. Now first let's understand the meaning of job costing see here. Job costing is a method of costing that is used to find the cost of a non-standard job normally performed according to customer requirements. Yes, this is the most important line according to customer requirements. See this technique, right? Job costing. It can only be applied in those businesses where the work or the production or the services are provided to customers according to their requirements, according to customer requirements. Is that okay? In only in those kinds of businesses, you can apply job costing. Is that okay? Right. So now let's take an example to understand this. Yeah, let's talk about a furniture shop. So here we have a furniture shop and here we have three customers. One customer is asking for seven seater sofa. This customer is asking for dinner table of teak wood. And this customer is asking for queen size bed. Yeah. So now it can happen that, you know, this furniture will have some ready-made furnitures, but then these people want these specific furnitures. Yeah. This guy wants what seven seater sofa with specific kind of material, you know, design and all that. So now this kind of seven seater sofa, is not there in the furniture shop. So now what this furniture shop will do, this furniture shop will make this kind of sofa according to this customer specific requirements and then deliver it to that customer. Right. So this will take some time, a short duration it will take, not like contract costing, yeah, not like, you know, uh, one year, three year, five years and all that. No, it will just take two weeks, maybe yeah, maximum three weeks, right? And it will be ready and it will be delivered to that customer. And then this customer will pay the price, whatever the furniture shop asks for, isn't it? Now, how the furniture shop will decide the cost, yeah, how they will ascertain the cost of this seven seater sofa. It's very simple. See here, this seven seater sofa, they might not have manufactured it before. Yeah, maybe they never have, right? Maybe they never have, you know, manufactured this kind of sofa with these kind of specific materials. So what they will have to do, they will have to prepare a specific cost sheet for this job. Yeah, here this customer is giving a job to this furniture shop. I want this kind of seven seater sofa. Please make it for me. I will pay you. So it's a job. Yeah, and it's called job costing. Yeah, specific according to customer requirements. Yeah. So now what will happen? See, first, the company will have to find out the cost of this seven seater sofa. Yeah, once they get the total cost, they will add a certain percentage of profit and they will have the selling price. And this is what we are going to do in this chapter. Nothing more than that. Is that okay? Right. So the same with the other customers also. See here, here we have some features of this kind of transaction. No two orders are alike and each job needs special treatment. Yeah, each, you know, job is different. And, you know, these each job, they will give in a specific number. Like how if you go to a tailor shop, yeah, if you go to a tailor shop, what happens when you get the receipt in that receipt, there will be an order number two, two, five, six, something. Yeah, it can be anything. So the tailor and their employees, yeah, in that shop, they will identify your order through that number. Yeah, similarly here also in this furniture shop, what will happen in that receipt, you know, there will be a number which will be specified to each customer. Yeah, to each job, actually job number one, job number two, job number three. And that's how they will identify. Yeah, because whatever expenses are incurred for this customer's order, for this customer's job, all that expenses will be collected in that order only, yeah, in that receipt. Is that clear? Like that. Yeah, so no two orders are alike and each job needs special treatment. And then see here, jobs are executed for different customers according to their specification. Yes, I've already told you, this guy wants what? Dinner table made up of teak wood. So first they will have to purchase the teak wood, this furniture shop, yeah. So it's according to their specification. Is that clear? Right. And then see here, normally of short duration, it will be of short duration. It is not like contract costing. It will just take maybe not more than a month. Is that clear? Right. And then it's concerned with cost of individual job. Now, when you will do the job costing, what will happen in the question, you will have what specific jobs. Yeah, maybe you'll have two jobs in the question. So you have to do costing of only two jobs, not of entire business, not of entire furniture shop. No, 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 no. Specific job costing we are doing specific job. Is that clear? Concerned with cost of individual job. Now, for example, let's take a different example. Let's say we are talking about a boutique shop here yeah, where wedding dresses and all are stitched. So what can happen? Each brides, yeah, their body size is different. Their choice is different. Yeah. So the dresses will be different. Their design, the color, the fabric use, the materials use, all these things will be different. So for every customer, for every brides, yeah, wedding gowns I'm talking about. So in these, what will happen? Everything will be different. 
so the prices will also be different so it's concerned with cost of individual job so in a boutique shop every customer you will have to charge different rates to each customer yeah now here maybe you will ask for seven seater sofa maybe you will ask 25000 for dinner table you may ask 10000 yeah it's not like unit costing okay here the rates and all will be different for everything is okay so it's concerned with cost of individual job fine okay then here we have to ascertain the cost as well as profit or loss on each job that's what we have to do we have to first ascertain the total cost by making a simple cost sheet only and then what will add a certain percentage of profit and then we will have what we will have the selling price yeah so how we are going to do that we are going to do that by preparing the cost sheet for each job is that okay and see this each job or unit of production yeah so seven seater so far it's a unit of production only that whole thing here you don't have unit concept in job costing you don't have units concept here you have a total concept yeah the whole job you are doing costing on the basis of whole job not on the basis of units and all is that okay so each job or unit of production is treated as a separate entity like how you used to do before cost sheet of an entire business yeah here you are doing a cost sheet of an entire job entire job is treated as an entity for the purpose of costing is that clear right see here job costing is carried out for the purpose of ascertaining the cost of each job how much it will cost us to make this seven seater so far and takes into account the cost of materials that will be required in this the cost of the labor direct labor and also the overhead the factory overhead production overhead and all that yeah selling distribution overheads the overhead will also be taken into consideration fine we'll see that while solving the problem yeah don't complicate it then see here in this method cost are collected and accumulated for specific jobs or work order i have told you yeah what will happen whatever expenses has been incurred whatever you know purchase and materials they have purchased for this they will accumulate that in one piece of paper yeah called as job cost sheet yeah in that they will take it they will collect all that to calculate the total cost so it is necessary to record all the expenditure related with a job separately whatever expenses the shop has incurred for this customer yeah for seven seater so far it will be written in one you know piece of paper and this another piece of paper like that in, in proper record it will be taken fine right so that's what will happen and then the format is very simple now let's take another example yeah i have given you a furniture shop example and i have given you a boutique shop yeah i told you that wedding gowns and all that what will happen each customer will have different designs and all that yeah and then let's talk about a paint contractor now what can happen in a paint contractor so let's say this is a paint contractor shop yeah not a paint shop paint contractor shop okay he has many painters and they paint the houses and whatever the buildings and everything yeah so now each customer their customer what will happen are you gonna charge the same amount of money to each customer no it is according to the customer requirements this guy's house can be big this guy's house can be a small yeah like that so according to their requirements how big the house is and where they want to paint what kind of design they want so the price will depend upon all of that is that clear right and then you can also think about this uh, car car repair shop in car repair shop also one customer may want full maintenance so you will charge according to that and some customer may want to you know what do you say change the specific part like that so everything is according to customer requirements if any businesses which provides customized goods customized services then in those kind of businesses job costing can be applied is that okay so this is what a job costing is. it's not difficult it's very simple believe me it's nothing yeah it's very simple so here we have the format so this is what you're going to be doing actually the the actual format full-fledged format is you know very big see here let me just show you yeah this is the actual format see here it's kind of a big format job cost sheet yeah you see this but then this is not helpful for you in the exam okay in the exam you are going to be doing only this only is that okay right so let's leave that come here so what are you going to do same cost sheet nothing different see here direct material direct labor direct expenses you're going to take you will add it up you will get the prime cost and then you know once you will add the production overhead what you will get you will get the works cost or factory cost and then if you add office and administration overhead you will get cost of production and then if you add selling and distribution overheads what you're going to get you're going to get the total cost is that clear i mean the cost of sale and then the total cost right so total cost you're going to get and then you will add a certain profit margin percentage of profit right so once you add the profit you will have a selling price so why do we do this job costing to calculate the profit on each job on each job and the selling price at what price are we going to sell it to customer because the specifications is different right it's not like we already have dinner table of like let's say twenty-five thousand. no we don't have it we don't know the price or anything 
we have to you know take their specifications into consideration okay what they want and all that consider all of that and then calculate the total cost add our profit and then get the selling price simple as that this is what job costing is yeah so how we are going to ascertain the cost as well as profit or loss on each job how by preparing separate cost sheet for each job understand this properly we are not preparing the cost sheet for the entire business no 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 for each job separately so maybe in question you might have two or three jobs so what you're going to do you will have one column two column three column like that also you can do is that clear so this is what you'll have to do okay i don't want to go in the format and all in very much detail because this is just a simple cost sheet okay so we'll directly go to the problem in the next video and you will see it's very simple it's not difficult at all this is what job costing is is that clear just remember it is according to customer requirements that's it okay right see you in the next video yeah bye